What's going on everybody? My name is Chris and welcome back to Scary Than You Think. Today we're going to be checking out a brand new series called Fred Bear's Family Diner. From what I understand, this has got to be one of the most insane Five Nights at Freddy's series that's been released in the last couple years. So today we're going to be checking it out. You guys have also really been enjoying the Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. So if you guys want to see more, drop a like on the video, comment down below what else you guys want to see on the channel. And with all of that being said, guys, let's jump right into it. Here we go. 12.01 AM, Fred Bear's Family Diner, 1983. Looks like a crime scene. There's blood everywhere. Okay, Fredbear's completely covered in blood. Bonnie isn't moving. Okay, it looks like there was a party going on. It's completely destroyed. We're in the POV of someone. I'm not sure who. Fredbear's wrist is broken? It seems, yeah, okay. Checking on Bonnie. Nope. Twelve oh one is usually when the animatronics get a little active. Okay. So he must be a worker or someone hiding behind a counter. Okay, this makes more sense. So the description reads, A terrible incident has occurred at Fred Bear's Family Diner. After horrified families were evacuated, the crime scene was inspected and the body was removed. It looks as if no one will ever enter the beloved establishment ever again. But not everyone, or everything, has left the building. So it seems like we're completely in the POV of someone else looking at the stage looking at the crime scene, and we're hiding behind the counter looking at the stage. We break glass and the screen goes black. I'm really hoping we don't get caught here. I'm really hoping we don't get we don't get caught. Why are we here? Why are we, I, I gotta find out why we're here. This is part two, Unshackled. Seems to be picking up right where we left off before. Okay, we got two people. It's me and someone else hiding behind the counter, two workers. We should have evacuated when the crime happened. What's the crime though? Red Bear is stuck on the stage, or was. We've now been spotted, kind of, but Fredbear's leg is still stuck. Fredbear's getting active. Bro is making as much noise as possible. Just run. All right. That's... <laughs> no need for the lights to turn off. At all. Staff only. Parts and services. So Fred Bear's now on the loose. Completely on the loose. We made a ton of noise and ran the other way. For some reason, we were spotted by Fred Bear, but Fred Bear seems to be a little bit disoriented at this point. So I, 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 th I think we're okay right now. We're, we're going to dive into part three right now called Hideaway. I'm interested to see where it's going to lead after being seen. Okay, this, this jumps. Is this William Afton's son? This is Evan Afton, right? Yes? No? Am I wrong? What you do? Why are you hiding? It's your birthday, my boy. All your friends are here to see you. Who is this? Is that Henry? Is everything all right, bud? Look, I know it's not the most inventive place to throw your party. Seeing as you're with us here after school every day, anyway. But there's a great turnout for you. We've invited your whole class. We closed the place just for you. We decorated Arcade Alley and Prize Corner, and uh, I asked Chef John to double the batter of the Freddy's chocolate fudge cake. <laughs> so it's gonna be enormous. They scare me. Okay, they scare me too. What do you mean? Fred Bear and Bonnie? Yeah. Well, what's wrong with it? They're running so well now. I spent months tweaking the movement on them to get them to move as smoothly as they do. New servos, new skins. What did that just say? What did that... Skins. New... Look at this. Afton's son's birthday. 
party. Okay, so this is Evan Afton. This is Henry, right? Am I wrong? Get them to move as smoothly as they do. I I feel like that's you not William. Those new skins. Yeah, I even got the new hydraulic jaw for Freddy. That was ordered express from Aaron, Florida. Cost a small fortune, mind you. Unless this is William. You should go and enjoy your party. I'm gonna set the next show. Okay. Go have a bite to eat. I'll catch up with you. So they got a new jaw for Fredbear, which is kind of cool, but that's probably going to lead to the bite of 83, if I'm not mistaken. If this is what this is all based off of, from what I can understand, that is Henry. This, the, 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 this guy right here is Henry, and this is his son, okay, from what I can understand. Some people are saying it's William. Some people are saying it's Henry. I would assume that it's Henry just off of my little bit of, you know, lore-ish but I, right down here, right at the calendar, it says Afton's son's birthday party. So this has to be Evan Afton and Henry, right? If I'm not mistaken, because Evan is the one that is unalived by Fredbear, if this is what this is based off of, because I'm pretty sure that's what it's based off of. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I, I'm wrong all the time, but that, that's what I'm going off of. So from what I understand, this is what's going on. Birthday party's happening. Something happened, which leads to this. This is a little bit of that backstory, little little backstory cut here. And this is what we're going to be based off of, off of the Bite of 83, if that's what the Fred Bears Family Diner is based off of, which that's what I think it is. We're now jumping into part four called Reflection, which seems to be picking up where part two left off with Fred Bear moving around the pizzeria after the crime happens. That's that's what I'm getting from this because it's not all lively. It's not all party. The party's over. The party's done. Okay, okay. Fred Bear's just lurking around. Did you just say dad? He definitely just said dad, right? He just said dad. So this is Henry's son. Right? Whose body was eaten, but is now inhabited Fredbear. Right? I'm right, right? Okay, it's 2 a.m. Bonnie and Fredbear, go have some fun. He then notices that he's now an animatronic. Notices the blood and the spring locks. Okay, okay. I, I think I, I think I'm, I think I'm getting this. So Henry built the animatronics. Not all of them, but most of them. William Afton's son's birthday party happens. Someone's unalived. Now they inhabit the suit, which I would assume is Evan Afton, who is William Afton's son, Henry's business partner, and now he sees himself in the reflection in the mirror and realizes that he's now an animatronic. He has inhabited the body of the animatronic scenes as though he was eaten. That's what I'm going off of. That, 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 that's my premise. That's what I'm going off of. I could be wrong. I could be right. I'm not quite sure, but that's what I'm going off of. We are now jumping into part five, the reveal. Okay. That's Fred Bear. Three and one quarter turns clockwise to lock the back panel in place. Okay. I'm not putting my hand in there, bro. Get the chomp down. This will allow for a tighter connection between the spinal pneumatic yep. tube and hydraulic jaw. Oh, hey there, kiddo. <laughs> Good to see you're up and about. That's the spirit. This is still birthday party. This is still birthday party. Are you uh, enjoying your party? Yeah, don't worry. I, I get it. 
I'm not much of a people person myself. Don't get me wrong, I get such a kick out of entertaining you kids. But uh, doing it behind the uh, window, oh. making these critters sing and dance, well, that's how I like it. And that's enough for me. <laughs> Your father, on the other hand, definitely prefers a crowd. Okay. Sally, hi. Can I go get a slice of yeah, pizza Yeah, that's Henry. Now? I'm starving. Please, sir, please. Not just yet, Jeremy. You'll get your chance. Okay. That's fine. I'll just start. That boy is eager beaver, I tell ya. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you don't have to go, bud. You are just in time to help test out the new jaw for your birthday performance. <laughs> He's like, nah, I'm good. Uh, you want to see it? No. He doesn't. Because I don't. And the eyes are moving. There is nothing to worry about. I'm here to look after you. Even when your dad's not here. You know that, right? Yeah, that's Henry. Confirmed. Confirmed oh, Henry. Uh... Anytime. Time after time? <laughs> time after time. <laughs> yep, uh, just like your favorite song. We love a bit of a Cindy Lauper musical jamboree, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> time after time. Look, let me show you. I don't think he wants to see, bro. I don't think he wants to see how the jaw works. I don't think he does. I feel like, I, 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 am I the only one that feels like he doesn't want to see how the jaw works? So, is he, is Henry going to feed William Afton's son to Fredbear? Is that what we're about to see? Is that what we're about to see? Because I feel like that's what we're about to see. I feel like that that's a that's a very, very, very possible thing that we're about to see. We are now on part six, Mr. Afton. Okay, so it's oh, taking place right after the last part. God, you are not a little tyke anymore, are you? Is Henry going to feed his son to the to the machine? Hang tight, Jeremy. I'm really hungry. I just want to get a bite of pizza. I'm still working on him. God. He clearly doesn't want to be close to the machine. I mean, would you? Would you want to be that close? I don't. Ta-da! Now, it was supposed to arrive last week, but it only got here this morning, would you believe it? I got some postal service for you. It works, I think, which is great. But the pneumatics seem to be a little off. It says here on the paperwork that instead of a six pounds per square inch, it has a 60 pounds per square inch. <laughs> uh, that's a little overkill. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if I wrote something down wrong. Bro, don't put your head in there. Want to take a closer look? Come on. Come on. Bro, no way. No way. There's no way, right? If you look in his mouth, then you can see how the pistons provide a quick burst of movement the jaw needs to be able to perform and respond quickly to lyrics. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, yeah. Also, I've, uh, I've shifted his voice box. His head is literally in Fredbear's mouth. A little less picnic and a little more classy. Henry! That's William. William. Your boy was just... Oh. Damn it, Jeremy, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. That, that was an accident, sir. I just, it went off my God, you nearly took the boy's head off. I just said how to go get a slice of pizza. Uh. I'm sorry, boss. No, am I going to get fired? 
That was almost really bad. Uh, William, your boy was just curious about... About what? Hiding inside the animatronic? Or being eaten alive by one? Major foreshadowing. Certainly aren't fit for children to be playing around on. And what the hell did you do to Fredbear's jaw? That wasn't approved by me or the finance team. Was it? Besides from that. birthday son all right so it looks like William w Williams a good dad oh okay so it seems like my theory was correct this is the bite of 83 William is a good dad Henry is a little bit too you know what I'm saying he's a little too into the animatronics and William's son's dead now I would assume that that's what it's going to be based off of because, I mean, you, you see the kid and you see Henry sitting there and I don't see William anywhere. So I, I would assume that, that that's what's going to happen. This is what turns William into the evil person that he is, technically. Here we go, jumping into part seven, the present. The present day. Which I would assume is what happened after this. Sixty pounds of pressure is a lot. Now, why are you back here with Henry? Are you not enjoying your party? Do you not want to go and play with your friends? Well, where have you been? Uh, he's got a point. Look, we haven't seen you all weekend, Will. <laughs> I had to do all the party preparations myself. For your son. Damn. Well, I flew to the Arizona location for their grand opening. I wanted to go in and make sure everything had run smoothly over the weekend. So that new restaurant takes priority over your boy's big day? Yeah, that's great. Damn. Real great. It's the fifth Fazbear location, Henry. <laughs> There's amazing stuff over there. I tell you, my redesigns are an absolute hit with the kids. You'd know that if you'd ever take the time to come visit us. You know why? I can't. That's a major beef. <laughs> I'm not ready. Did you put the decorations up in Arcade Alley? Yeah. Prize corner two. And what about the cake? Freddy's chocolate fudge cake. His favorite. I doubled the batter since he's turning the big one. Double digits. Should I have asked the finance team as well, or is that decision okay with you? Good call. Evan. Evan Afton. Now, I've been saving this for you for, for a long time now. What did you get him? This is an old Afton heirloom. I was given it when I was your age. But we can't give life to it yet. We'll open it together a little later. Uh-oh. Yes. Was this all a part of the plot? Okay. Henry, meet me in my office in about half an hour. All right? There's, um... There's been some developments 
Sure thing, old friend. Bro, what is going on right now? Yep, like I said. Like I said. Wait. Like I said. Will you be back in time for cake? Of course, my boy. William knew. I always come back. Bro, William knew the whole time. This is a part of the plan. This was a part of the plan. This was a part of the plan. This was a giant part of the plan. Like I said from the beginning, the bite of I, the bite of eighty three. Like I said, this was all a part of the plan. I called it. I'm practically a genius at this point. I I, I clearly know everything about everything. Here we go, part eight, Arcade no, Alley. William knew the whole time. Poor kid. This is actually kind of crazy. He doesn't even know. He knows, but he doesn't know. Yeah, he knows, but he doesn't know. Okay. There's a double chocolate cake. Now he sees. He still sees himself as a kid. Everyone else sees him as the animatronic. You're not going to jail, buddy. No. the foxy mask who is in the foxy mask is that Henry's son
Who is in the Foxy mask? I would assume it has to be Henry's son because Henry was crying before and why he can't leave. It seems like these two just sacrifice their own kids for the sake of Fred Bear's Pizzeria. Here we go, we're in the final stretch, the last episode, episode nine, Hide and Seek. Get off me! Michael, stop! Michael. Michael Afton. Stop it! Get lost! Okay, so all of the Fred Bear scenes of Henry, or of uh, Evan being inside of the Fred Bear suit was all foreshadowing. It was all foreshadowing. All foreshadowing. The wait is over. Zero days till the party. <laughs> yeah, I'm correct. Full get lore him. correct. Get him. <laughs> yep. Get you, Evan. His friends, Michael's friends, grab Evan, bring him to Fredbear. He gets eaten by Fredbear. What's wrong? Becomes Evan? Fredbear. No one else is scared. Why are you? <laughs> Just uh, hold still, okay? This is crazy. Such a baby. <laughs> this is when they grab him. Sure, yeah, man. this is funny. Uh, so funny. Well, well, well. Looks like you run out of time, little bro. <laughs> I think it's time I give you your birthday present. <laughs> Just hold still. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Dad, no. How many times leave that little guy? Alone. Wait, please, it was just a Okay. Just, just so down. William's in the Bonnie suit. <laughs> what in the hell is going on here? Clearly not. No, no, wait, wait, Dad, no! Oh, yeah, uh, Henry, help, help me, man! Oh, yeah, I'm gonna find you, Evan. I'm gonna find you. Ah! So it's get back. It's complete get back. Now, why don't you boys go and pick on someone your own size? Hmm? Sorry, sorry, sir. sir. Uh, uh, don't you be playing around with Mr. Afton's camera equipment like that, all right? Yeah, it's full get back. That's expensive stuff. Michael gets his get back from getting in trouble by scaring Evan more, and then Evan gets eaten by Fredbear. Becoming Fredbear, all foreshadowing. It's all foreshadowing. He doesn't even understand it. It's complete and utter foreshadowing. Don't pay any attention to the bud, okay? Don't be scared. I'm here with you. He's always like this. 
I won't stop until he finds me. You know, I'm real sorry about the jaw thing earlier. I should have watched what I was doing. Jeremy is going to get a darn good talking to. <laughs> that's for sure. Bertus wanted some pizza. He was hungry. I mean it when I say I'm here for you, you know? I really am sorry, Evan. As long as you're on my watch, I won't let anything bad happen to you. Well, it's very nice, Henry. It's very nice. And, and for what it's worth, your brother wasn't even invited. <laughs> Little punk and his posse can't help but gate crash and cause a scene. You know how he is. If it's any consolation, uh, uh, I think he's just jealous. You getting all this attention. Really? Uh-huh. I reckon so. Your father cares a great deal about you. Not sure where he went wrong with Marco. Well, it is his son, so he should. In theory. That boy didn't always used to be such... Such an... Asshole. <laughs> well, language, young man. But yeah. But yeah. <laughs> An asshole. <laughs> I think him losing Charlie hit him harder than anyone expected. I miss her. Me too, but... She used to love a good party. Always trying to make it the best she could. For, for us. <laughs> Imagine if she just walked in here and surprised us. She only went missing in June, right? Charlie's circus baby. And Correct. I don't know if she's gone, gone, you know? He knows. There's still a chance she can find her way home. There's always a chance, but... Who knows? And that's who's been whispering to him. If not today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow? <laughs> I'm telling you. Circus Baby is the one that's whispering to Evan. Tomorrow is another day. Right? Am I right or wrong? Yeah. Listen. Wow. Wow, I'm so good. I am so right that it hurts. This series is absolutely insane, and I genuinely can't wait for the next part because this next part has to be coming out relatively soon. The part that we just watched, Hide and Seek Part 9, came out 12 days ago. We have to be getting a new part soon. As I've said, you guys have been really enjoying the Five Nights at Freddy stuff, so let's let's go over this a little bit. So it is the Bite of 83. This is where William Afton's son is eaten by Fred Bear, turning him into Fred Bear. They're talking about, I would assume, his sister, Charlie, who is Circus Baby, whispering to him because he is now an animatronic as well. William seems to be a good dad for the beginning up until he loses his son Evan, who was of course eaten by Fredbear because of Michael. Michael picks him up, puts him into Fredbear's mouth. Fredbear then eats him, killing him instantly because of the 60 pounds of pressure in the new jaw that was put in by Henry, which turns out that 
William then hates Henry because he more or less killed his son because of the fact that the pressure is so insane on the jaw of Fredbear. That is the full lore breakdown. That is what this series is based off of, and it is absolutely insane. And I, like I said, I can't wait for another part. But hopefully you guys did go and enjoy today's video. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Comment down below what else you guys want to see, because as I said, you guys have been enjoying the FNAF stuff. We're going to keep it coming. Subscribe for more, turn on all notifications. And with all that being said, guys, my name is Chris. And of course, I will catch you guys on the next one.